Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Crafty Simmer Heike, and we are back with a, with a whole new episode of The Sims 4 Get Together LP. So in the last part, well we didn't do anything in the last part, if anything. We basically went around and we went to go find some of the um, spring challenge stuff. I mean over here we have the, uh, the grow tree. And it's actually already starting to sprout, which is really, really promising. So yeah, no, that's what we did. In the last part is that we started doing stuff so <laughs> we started doing stuff and um yeah for the spring challenge so that's fun so brooklyn has since now returned home and we're just kind of waiting now on um julian to make our food for us because julian has basically decided he's going to be basically a stay at home partner, like a domestic partner, um, because I, because they're not really exactly dating, but they're not married either, if you guys know what I mean. No, 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 you gotta wait till Julian's done eating, making his food, now you can go grab a serving. But that's pretty much what's going on right now, though, is that, yeah. So, it's once again an, like one of those awkward nights at the dinner table with with uh, Julian and Brooklyn. Just kind of, I mean, yeah, they've been together for a little while and they moved in, but I don't really think that happiness is their normal and that this awkwardness is their life. Oh, and once again, what are you talking about, the Julian? Okay, so for some strange reason, he's kind of once again discussing his fear for commitment, and maybe that's maybe he just I don't, maybe he snapped. I don't know. Maybe he just he, like he just snapped. So Brooklyn's just a little bit confused on why all of a sudden he's changing his mind about being with her, and like I don't even know their guys. Like okay, their boy. Okay, <laughs> Brooklyn. I don't even know. Brooklyn is just kind of stressing the hell out. And she's like, oh my god. Julian. Which, of course, continues to bring down um, a very, very quiet atmosphere between the two of them. So I think she's going to go ahead and give him the cold shoulder again because she's a little bit pissed. She's she she's upset about this. Like she's like, okay, honestly, like you know, like I brought you under my roof and and that you continue to promise me that you changed, but yet you haven't. Like I don't know who you are. I don't know what's happened to you or the fact that we just she's she has no idea. She has no idea what to say and. She's like, honestly, no, you can pack your bags and you can leave in the morning because I'm not going to deal with this. She's not going to deal with this anymore, there, guys. Like, she's just like, no, I'm not going to be dealing with your, with your wishy-washy problems. I dealt with this problem in high school. I'm not dealing with you. So she's just, she's just letting him have it. And yeah. And of course, it's turning this conversation really unpleasant. But that's just how Brooklyn feels about the whole situation. Is that you know, is that if Julian wants to not have a commitment, then fine, he can move right the hell out. But <laughs> oh my God, Brooklyn, what are you doing? Oh my God, no, Brooklyn, why are you letting your see the private head? Oh my God. I don't know, maybe, maybe she's criticizing his woohoo techniques? And it's like, oh boy, please. It's just, you're, you're, you're messy, and you're horrible, and you're mean, and you're just, I'm, I don't even know anymore. We're just gonna be mean again, and we're gonna criticize your woohoo techniques, because you're not that great in bed, okay, little honey boo boo. Um, 
but that but that's exactly what oh my god girl she's like honestly the grim reaper can do better than you do and the grim reaper doesn't have any freaking skin it's all bones down there okay there boo boo okay so <laughs> brooklyn is just like she's not pleased at all and she's just telling him to basically screw you and screw the heck off and julian's like i don't know what you're doing there honey um Which, of course, makes Julian furious with her and just like, hey, okay, girl, please. Honestly, why are you doing this to me? What is this? What is this? Kiss Brooklyn. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, that, that, yeah, yeah, no. That's not anymore. <laughs> this is not how it's going to go anymore. So she's just, so he's going to go, go ahead and freaking yell at her. And just absolutely lose his freaking mind at her. Ooh, he's angry. But, you know, this is definitely an interesting dinner, dinner table conversation. And I, and I actually honestly think that he's leaking the truth out to her. This is... I, I wasn't expecting this. To be quite frank with you guys, I wasn't planning this. I wasn't planning for this. I wasn't even planning he was going to freaking talk about his fair commitment because I thought he was completely and totally over it, but he's not. Like, here he goes off and he's, t and I'm, and I'm almost positive that he's telling her that honestly, you've wasted your last six years. You've wasted your last, like, you, you basically wasted your youth chasing this, chasing this man and, then after you finally got him, you dumped him be for a child that's not even his. Do you want to know why? Because it's mine. Oh. Oh. I have no idea why I got so freaking okay. <laughs> I just, I just totally got into that for some reason. I don't know why. And there's Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn has no idea what to freaking do with that. And oh my. I was yelling like Julian, apparently, because I'm just... Oh my god. <laughs> and Brooklyn's like, okay, we're done having this conversation here there, Julian. I'm done. Um, yeah, no, when I come back home from work tomorrow, I don't want you here, and... You know, I don't want to see you here ever again. I mean, like, honestly, there's there's supposed to be, like, this humongous mischievous part for this, but... <sighs> okay. I... I... I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore, there, guys. don't know what to do anymore. I really don't. But anyways, though... Yeah, that's what... Th this is what Brooklyn wants. Brooklyn wants Julian to leave and once again he, he's mocking her maybe Bo saying, you know like maybe you should put some fucking clothes on there bitch I, I don't know I don't know cuz Julian is just Julian is not happy with her at all but he started this he said that he had no that he, that, uh, he had a commitment issue and I don't know. Brooklyn... Brooklyn's processing all this right now. Like, she really is. She has no idea how to process relationship. Um, and boy, okay, boy, you need to calm the up down, okay? Okay, we're done yelling at her, okay? We're done. We're done. Okay? Okay. Now go clean up, like, I'll go clean up. Because you still live it under Brooklyn's roof. Yeah, no, he's definitely, definitely talking about the fact that the daughter is his. And here's Brooklyn. <laughs> you know, Julia just basically got up and swiped the dish right, right from, right from underneath her hands. And she's like, oh my god. <sighs> like, at this point right now, she honestly really sees there's a chance between her and Brennan right now. And she's... She, 
she doesn't know what to do with this entire situation because somehow, some way, in just a matter of a couple days, she's back at square one, and everything's just everything just kind of fell apart around her again. And I like I was even expecting Julian to just absolutely just have this freaking out outburst at the freaking dinner table and. Brooklyn's shooken up by this whole entire situation. So here's what we're going to do there, guys. We're going to go ahead and we're going to just kind of sleep on the whole situation right now. And in the morning, Brooklyn's going to take the day off work. She's going to go and just, she, like, she, you guys have no idea how much this changes a lot. Like, this changes everything. Um... <laughs> But anyways, though, she's going to go to bed now. Uh, Julian's probably going to go sleep on the couch because he damn well deserves the couch tonight. Because I honestly think at this point right now, B's really going to get her happy ending. I mean, even now, she's... I don't even know the guys. Like, honestly, I really think that this changes a lot right now for for Brooklyn. So, Julian's going to go ahead and take a nap. And we're going to wake up in the morning, and we're going to... Julian, you have some of the most messed up traits I've ever freaking seen! Like, the goofball, but he's... I don't, I don't even freaking know about you anymore there, Julian. Like, honestly, you're just, you're a mess inside out. Which is probably why you're, which is, which is probably why you kind of earned your spot on the couch tonight, but. Anyways, there, guys, I will see you all in the morning. Bye there, guy. Well, yeah, I'll see you all in the morning. Alright there, guys, good morning. <laughs> Brooklyn is now waking up, and, um, after this kind of, She's just, you guys have no idea how much her mind's just, it's fluttering right now, or her heart's just, it's its racing, it's beating, and she doesn't know what to do. Like, you guys have no idea. I, I know that I got, like, so emotionally charged. Like, I wasn't even expecting to be that emotionally charged, but I was, and it was just, ow! Oh, but... <laughs> Anyways, though, Brooke is just going to go ahead and just kind of do, like, a bit of, like, a morning routine. Julian's going to wake up, and I think he's going to cook an... I'm sorry, I was an idiot breakfast. So, <laughs> you know, I'm sorry that I yelled at you at eggs with... I'm telling you the truth, that's not Brendan's baby pancake. I'm like, that that's not, you know... <laughs> yeah. So... Right now, Brooklyn is just in, like, a blunder right now because she realizes that everything's different now. It really is. A lot of it's changed, and she doesn't know how to, em how to emotionally deal with this. I swear, every time I look at that, I swear, it's like freaking... Okay, do I have the water this plant? Please turn on the water plant yet. I don't have to yet. Awesome. But anyways, though, I think, though, Brooklyn's going to go ahead, though, and, well, I think we're going to take the day off because she has to go find Brendan. Like, she has to go find Brendan right now, and, um, yeah, I honestly really think right now that she's just, oh, maybe we shouldn't take her on vacation day. Maybe we should just, maybe we should text Summer. Text Summer instead because Brooklyn needs the money. She needs to like, like she needs to make money right now, and she's gonna text her like. You know, like everything's changed. Like, like, like somehow, in in the matter of like a night, everything's changed again. And you know, it's like it's like, Brooklyn. I need to go find Brendan and. You know, the last time I saw him was that he was a mess, and I don't know where he is. So, that's exactly what's going to happen, though, is that Brendan and Brooklyn are going to go ahead here, though, and... 
yeah, I don't, I don't know there, guys. I don't know. I'm like, I'm really feeling, I, I'm still like, I, like, I don't know what happened there, guys. I really don't know what, I, like, I don't know what came over me, but Brooklyn is not having it. Brooklyn's not having this freaking fancy, as I'm sorry, their dinner. So, you know, I think, though, Julian, despite what happened last night, you know, like, everything's back and fine again, but, you know, in the end of the day, though, in the, you know, if, in the whole facts of reality, it's not fine. It's not going to be okay ever again. So, he's going to have a deep conversation, and... And he's like, look, I'm sorry there be, I'm sorry about, you know, about this whole lie, about my DNA being with Gina and not Brendan, and I'm sorry I kept this a secret from you for so long, and I'm sorry that I absolutely just, I, I, my emotions got the best of me, and so Brooklyn's absolutely, like, she's definitely tuned in on this because she knows that Jillian was second best for her. She really knew that Julian was a second best. So, she's willing to listen to whatever he says right now, because whatever he says now is going to mean a lot to her. So Julian's telling her right now that, you know, is just, look, I'm willing to make this right with you again, and I just, I just need your help with one thing. And that's help me get my daughter back. You see, six years ago, Julian got Katrina pregnant, and and Katrina basically forbid Julian from seeing her, um, and that absolutely broke Julian's heart because this is this is basically Julian's flesh and blood, and that will and that might clean up his act. And Brooklyn's just like. Okay, so let me get this straight here, okay? Well, you just told me, well, you told me last night that you have a commitment issue. And this morning, you want to commit to a child. Saying that, that this is going to settle you down? Look, if this is going to help you there, Julian, if this is going to help the both of us be happy with our lives, I'll do it. I'll help you in any way that you need me to help you with, and we will help you get back your child. I promise. And then, you know, um, Brooklyn's going to proceed eating with her good pancakes. But Julian's going to warn her, though, that, you know, a lot's changed since, you know, in like the past six years. You know, Brendan might be doing, might not be doing so well. Brendan might be on the damn well verge of dying, and Brooklyn's like, look, I don't care anymore that Brendan, like, I don't care anymore that Julian, you know, I just, I want to be happy. And six years ago, my happiness was robbed from me. So... That's, so basically, they basically kind of kiss and made up, but in a way, though, they're kind of now separated. And I think that's what's going to make these two live together at, like, a peace with each other. Because now that because now that Julian has come clean about the truth, I feel like now Brooklyn can now finally move on with her life. Well, not really move on, but now she can... Now she can go find him. And she can profess her feelings and that they can finally actually be together together. It's just like I wasn't even expecting this to happen and clearly I don't know. I don't know there guys. I still have to I, I don't know there guys. I don't know. No no no. But anyways though Julie, uh Brooklyn, not Julian. Julian's over here, uh clean up some dishes and stuff. Oh wow, that tree grew up really fast. I thought the, I thought the tree would grow up a lot slower than what it actually did. <laughs> oh. 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 
But yeah, no. So I really think now though is that this this fills Julian's heart with absolute love and compassion for Brooklyn, and like he's so thrilled, like he's happy that you know that that the, that the cat's out of the bag pretty much. And I feel like that brings. I don't know. They just to me they. I really think. Oh, boys and girls, don't be getting flirty right now. But yeah, no, I actually think now that they're airing all their dirty laundry, they're just, they're now just kind of getting over their whole relationship and everything, and just kind of talking about a lot of everything, and, you know, like, they're definitely at peace with each other now. That's for sure. And I'm really happy that Brooklyn finally has peace with her life. And... Yeah. But look, though, if this is going to be the last time they're actually going to be able to that that, that this is going to be like the last time, really. I I I actually really think that they should just kind of we can kiss hands. Um. Or we can just go ahead here and we can just like kiss and have it be like our parting ways, pretty much. You know, like, thank you for everything there, Julian. Thank you for finally letting me be happy. Um. Thank you for just finally letting me be this way. Thank you. Anyways, there, guys. Um, we're gonna cut this episode. We're gonna cut this episode short um, because I really think this is a really, 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 really nice place to to kind of tip it off here. But anyways, there, guys. Thank you so much for love. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this episode, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, a comment, and if you have not yet, subscribe. Um, and I really hope to see you all next week for the get to for continuing on with the get together story <laughs> bye there guys